Lopedia with Junior from Illinois anchoring this power play for this penalty kill unit for Enrico Blasi. Well, he was real good last night. He anchors the penalty kill as well as the power play unit. And again, a draft pick of the Minnesota Wild. What a job the Wild have done with their draft picks recently. Here's Dixon Bowen now. And a goal for the freshman from East Grand Forks. Just as the penalty expires, Dixon Bowen, his third goal in his last six games, and it's 1-0 North Dakota. Well, this was a line last night that I thought actually was able to at least get something going for North Dakota. Here you're going to see it's a quick transition and it's a turnover. Good job by Zach Young, head man in that puck. What I love about this, watch Dixon Bowen lower that shoulder, waits for the goalie to open up just that little bit. Larkin gives that five hole up. I always say it's a very difficult job for a goaltender when you got a guy coming in with speed. Bowen does a real good job, lowers that shoulder, drives to the net. Dixon, the 5'11 freshman from East Grand Forks. Played with the likes of Tyson Jost and Colton Pullman last season in the BCHL for Penticton. He's been coming on of late, a kid that offers a lot of energy, a guy you like quite a bit. A big goal early and look right back, Miami with the answer. 44 seconds after Bowen opens the scoring, the Red Hawks fight right back. Anthony Lewis. The NCHC scoring leader with the goal of his own, and we're tied at one. Well, just a turnover right there. Again, defensively, this is going to go back door. Not a lot Cam Johnson can do there, but right there, you're going to see him come just sliding in. That's Tucker Pullman's guy, so Pullman gets kind of... You need those guys to contribute offensively, not be minuses. And I thought the first shift, or, or the first shift there, that they got a little bit of sustained pressure back on. Joe here open. Nice feed in front. Big time goal from Austin And the junior from St. Cloud right there to bang it home. Two to one, North Dakota. Well, what a playmaking ability. Here you're going to see they're just going to get this into the zone. Look at Tyson Jost get his head up. Larkin's down in the butterfly. Larkin thinks Tyson Jost is going to shoot this puck. Watch how quick Tyson gets his head up, looks over, threads the needle. Paganski, he loves that. You're not going to find many easier ones than that. You see him pointing. Nice pass. That's a good way of you. Well, chance to at least control the pace of play like they did last night. This is a power play that Matt Shaw says a very underrated power play. They got a lot of high-end skilled talent out there. It's just a matter of sometimes things go your way, sometimes they don't. This is a power play that I think that will continue to evolve. Interception. Red Gardner! Short-handed! Trojan trying to create the chance! And Red Gardner made the most of it! 3-1 North Dakota! Talk about how good the penalty kill is for Miami, but here's the big thing. You can't get complacent with Sleepy with the puck. A good job and a real good low blocker shot by Rhett Gardner. But what a job by Janet Tweenan on the forecheck. Doesn't quit. He's relentless on the puck. He's tracking, utilizing that stick as a tool and a real good shot. Low block. A couple of roughing penalties for Pullman and Leverance. Quick face-off win there. Good opportunity from Josh Melnick. Cam Johnson had to be alert that time. Sometimes you get a little aggressive. You want to fire that for an empty net. You can't continue to the ice pucks because they'll just come back and actually haunt you. Kiefer Sherwood now walking in. Big poke check that time in front. Nice job by Hayden Shaw getting a stick in the way. And now Joel Janet Tween in here with an empty net in front of him. Janet Tween in firing just wide. That doesn't hurt you though because he does a good job, make sure he gets over that red line. So